My name is Marilisa Allegrini. I am the CEO of uh, the Allegrini Estates. And so Allegrini in Valpolicella, Poggio al Tesoro, in Tuscany, in Bulgari. After 20 years, I was working for the family company. I decided to go out of my comfort zone and uh, I chose uh, one of the most beautiful parts of Tuscany, Bulgari, to start this new project. Uh, Tuscany is uh, one of the most important wine producing area of Italy, but uh, Bulgari has something very special. In Italy we have this uh, native grape variety, while in, in Tuscany we, I could experience uh, the uh, grape variety that are cultivated there, which are called international grape variety, but they are uh, more adapted to the Bulgari territory. And Bulgari is beautiful, the landscape is beautiful, and also the climate. And uh, I was sure that I was able to produce the type of wine that uh, I wanted to. Amarone is a wine that in the past was known for uh, not being a wine to match with food. So, and this was due to the characteristic of the wine. Uh, the traditional Amarone had a touch of oxidation and it has this uh, port-like flavor. And uh, uh, after many years of experiment, uh, we realized that uh, this style of Amarone was due to the botrytis that can attack the grapes uh, during the drying stage. And so we started thinking how to prevent this and we ended up in 1998 with a facility that we built where we can control the drying stage and we can produce Amarone with this resin aroma because of course it comes from dried grapes so it must have this aroma of resin but without the oxidation that was typical of the traditional Amarone. I am the sixth generation in the wine business and Caterina, my daughter, is the seventh. And um, I receive a lot from my father, mother and my ancestor and so I hope that I will be able to give her the same value. And working for a family is something that is very exciting. Uh, you feel the family commitment and uh, you also feel the fact that uh, you have to bring uh, I had the company and uh, uh, so I hope that she will be uh, very happy to do so and I know that she is very talented and I'm sure that uh, she will bring uh, qualitative improvement to the winery thanks to her contribution. There is a new trend uh, all over the world, not just uh, in the United States, uh, when people want to know the story behind a bottle of wine. And uh, because we do many beautiful things at the winery, uh, I think that we have a lot to tell. And uh, the important thing is that uh, in America, there are these uh, new talented uh, sommeliers that bring the history that we can tell to the consumer. And this is very important because uh, uh, the storytelling is uh, very fascinating and is what uh, gives value to the wine. Not only because uh, uh, you can explain how the wine is made, but because you make people be curious about visiting the place. And uh, at the end, uh, we have also very good hospitality uh, program, so we like people coming to visit us uh, and to experience firsthand what we do. It's very important to have members of the family working in the company, so I'm able to travel a lot. And also, I think that uh, with the modern technology, you have uh, communication. Uh, easy communication and so you can be present even if you are away and uh, one very important thing is to have good staff members and to 
trust them to trust what they do and uh, knowing that they work also to build the company and to give the contribution to the growth of the company.